But here, okay, here's the complicated thing though. Like you could think about in your own life, starting the podcast as one of these just cool opportunities that you put on yourself, right? Yeah. Like, you know, I could have been talking to you at MIT four years ago yeah. and be like, don't do that. Like yeah. your research is going well, right? Yeah. But then everyone who watches you is like, okay, this podcast is the direction that's taking you is like a couple of years from now, it's going to, there'll be something really monumental that you're probably going to probably lead to, right? There'll be some really, it just feels like your life is going somewhere. It's going somewhere. Really it's cool. interesting. Yeah. Unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you balance those two things? And so what I try to throw at it is this, this motto of do less, do better, know why, right? So do, uh, do less, do better, know why. It used to be the motto of my website years ago. Um, so do a few things, but like an interesting array, right? So I was doing, uh, MIT stuff, but I was also writing, you know, so a couple of things are, you know, they were interesting, like ha have a couple bets placed on a, on a couple different numbers on the roulette table, but not too many things. And then really try to do those things really well and, and see where it goes. Like with my writing, I just spent years and years and years just training. I was like, I want to be a better writer. I want to be a better writer. I started writing student books when I was a student. Um, uh, I really wanted to write hardcover idea books. I started training. I would... I would use like New Yorker articles to train myself. I'd break them down and then I'd get commissions with much smaller magazines and practice the skills. And, and it took forever until, you know, but now today, like I actually get a write for the New Yorker, but it took like a decade. So a small number of things, try to do them really well. And then the know why is have a connection to some sort of value. Like in general, I think this is worth doing uh, and then seeing where it leads. And so uh, the choice of the few things is grounded in what, like a little... Like a like a little flame of passion, like a love for the thing, like a sense that you say you wanted to write, get good at writing. You had that kind of introspective moment of thinking, this actually brings me a lot of joy and fulfillment. Yeah, I mean, it gets complicated because I wrote a whole book about following your passion, being bad advice, which is like the first thing I kind of got infamous for. <laughs> I wrote that back in 2012. Yeah. But But the argument there is like passion cultivates, right? So what I was pushing back on was the myth that the passion for what you do exists full intensity before you start, and then that's what propels you. Or actually the reality is as you get better at something, as you gain more autonomy, more skill, and more impact, the passion grows along with it. So that when people look back later and say, oh, follow your passion, what they really mean is I'm very passionate about what I do, and that's a worthy goal. Mm -hmm. But how you actually cultivate that is much more complicated than just introspection is going to identify, like for sure you should be a writer or something so, like this.